AI systems trained on personal data, the kind of data that, for instance, the social media companies, the major platforms, Google, Meta, et cetera, collect on all of us routinely. And we've had many a chat about this in this committee over many a year now, but the massive amounts of data, personal data, that the companies have on each one of us, an AI system that is, that is trained on that individual data that knows each of us better than ourselves and also knows the, the billions of data points about human behavior, human language interaction generally, wouldn't we be able, wouldn't we, can't we foresee an AI system that is extraordinarily good at determining what will grab human attention and what will keep an individual's attention. And so for, and for the war for attention, the war for uh, clicks that is currently going on on all of these platforms, that's how they make their money. I'm just imagining a, an AI system, these, these AI models supercharging that war for attention such that we now have technology that will allow individual targeting of a kind we have never even imagined before, where the AI will know exactly what Sam Altman finds uh, attention grabbing. We'll know exactly what Josh Hawley finds attention grabbing. We'll be able to elicit, to grab our attention and then elicit responses from us in a way that we have heretofore not even been able to imagine. Should we be concerned about that for its corporate applications, for the monetary applications, for the manipulation that, that could come from that, Mr. Altman? Uh, yes, we should be concerned about that. To be clear, uh, OpenAI does not, we, we're not off you know, we don't have an ad-based business model, so we're not trying to build up these profiles of our users. We're not, we're not trying to get them to use it more. Actually, we'd love it if they use it less because we don't have enough GPUs. Um, but I think other companies are already, uh, and certainly will in the future, use AI models to create, you know, very good ad predictions of what a user will like. Uh, I think that's already happening in, in many ways. It, Mr. Marcus, anything you want to add? Hi, hyper yes, um, and perhaps Ms. Montgomery will want to too as well. I don't, know. but um, hyper targeting of advertising is definitely going to come. I agree that that's not been OpenAI's business model. Um, of course, now they're working for Microsoft, and I don't know what's in, in Microsoft's thoughts. Um, but we will definitely see it. Maybe it will be with open source language models. I, I don't know, but the technology there is, uh, let's say, part way there to being able to do that, and we'll certainly get there. So we're an enterprise technology company, not consumer focused. So the space isn't one that we necessarily operate in, in terms of, but these issues are hugely important issues. Um, and it's why we've been out ahead in developing the technology that will help to ensure um, that you can do things like produce a fact sheet that has the ingredients of what your data is trained on. Um, data sheets, model cards, all those types of things, and calling for, as I've mentioned today, transparency. So you know what the algorithm was trained on, and then you also know and can manage and monitor continuously over the life cycle of an AI model the behavior and the performance of that model. 